Do you ever feel like ChatGPT just doesn't get you? Well today is your lucky day, because this video will help elevate your prompting game forever. Last time on Silicon Minds we've spoken about two techniques that can help make your conversation more direct and more relevant to your current needs. Those techniques were called priming and role assignment. And today we're going to learn how to use them within one of ChatGPT's new features called custom instructions. So let me start from showing you where to find this new feature. So go ahead and jump right into ChatGPT, click the three dots button at the bottom left hand corner next to your username and click on custom instructions and a pop-up should show up in the middle of your screen with two boxes inside. And within those boxes, you're going to answer two questions. And those are, what would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? And the second one is, how would you like ChatGPT to respond. So let's go over those two questions. The first one is quite obvious. What you want to enter inside is a bit of information about yourself that you would like ChatGPT to know when having a conversation with you. This is basically for establishing some sort of context. So you can fill it in as a block of text or what I would recommend is to make it a list of categories which are relevant to you. So as a couple of examples, you could mention what is your background. If you're a university student or if you're a manager or a software engineer, the next one could be your interests. If you're into, say, music or art, feel free to mention that because that can also navigate your conversations in that direction. You can mention your learning style. We can talk about your overall goals, what you actually want to accomplish. I'm going to drop an example list of those categories in the description below the video so you can have a look at that but feel free to add whatever you feel might be important. Now let's move on to the second box. How would you like ChatGPT to respond? The way I see it is actually two questions in one. Who would you like ChatGPT to respond as aka role assignment and how would you like ChatGPT to respond, aka priming? So those two techniques that we've learned last week can be applied in this box. And that's actually how I use ChatGPT. I don't even really put as much emphasis on the first box as I do on the second one, because that's where you can really fine tune your whole experience with ChatGPT. So again, in that second box, you can enter a huge block of text as long as it's up to 1500 characters long, because that's the limitation, and mention anything you would want ChatGPT to know about how it's going to respond to you. But what I do to make it a bit more organized, I use a list. And in that list, I have categories like role assignment, which is who you want ChatGPT to be. I'd put the tone of the conversation, if I want it to be more casual or a bit more professional. I can add the creativity level, the format, if I want it to be in the form of bullet points or a list or just a paragraph of text. Then you can mention the technicality level if you want it to be presented in layman's terms or, or an expert level explanation of whatever it is you're talking about. And a couple of other ones, which again, I'll drop in the description below. Now that we've discussed those two boxes, let's think about what this feature actually gives us. Well, last time when we were talking about priming and role assignment, we'd always have to start the conversation with those presets, with that bit of introduction about who you want ChatGPT to be and how you want it to respond to you. This time around, it's already saved in this custom instructions dialogue. And every time you start a new conversation, ChatGPT already pulls that information in and it knows exactly how to behave, how to give you information and how to interact with you, right? So a lot of that mundane and tedious work is already handled for you. And of course, if you still want to go back to the vanilla version of ChatGPT without the presets, uh, you can just flip the switch and uh, your conversations will again be handled as they were in the beginning. I don't know about you, but I think it's time for a little example to show you a bit more context about what I'm talking about. So let's jump back into ChatGPT and let's head ourselves into custom instructions. And you'll see that I've already preset the details just to save a bit of time. So as you can see in the first box, I've put my occupation as a content creator specializing in AI and technology. I've spoken about the technical requirements that I have for the responses from ChatGPT. I've mentioned language preferences and a couple of others. Again, I'm not too fussed about the first box. It's the second box, which is interesting to me. So in the second one, we of course have role assignment and the role we're going to have a look at is an experienced music teacher, because what we'll want to ask ChatGPT to do is to teach us how to play the guitar. So the role is a music teacher. The tone is educational and inspiring. Creativity level is high. Detail level is high. Provide in-depth explanations and tips for musical techniques. The technicality is moderate because we're still learning, of course. Use music specific terms, but explain them for those who may not be familiar. And a bit more information, but we're gonna talk about that a little later where I'll show you how to create those personas. All right, so let's open a new conversation 
and let me ask ChatGPT to teach me how to play the guitar. And let's see what our music teacher actually gives us. So right from the start, you can see that the conversation is quite upbeat and motivational, where he starts off with, absolutely, I'd be thrilled to guide you on an hour journey to becoming a proficient guitarist. Learning the guitar is not only a rewarding experience, but also an avenue to express yourself musically. Here's how we'll approach it. And he starts off with setting up a lot of steps on how we can go on our journey of learning how to play that guitar. Starts off with the instrument that we want to choose, then teaches us about the anatomy of a guitar, how to read music, tells us about all the different techniques and scales and melodies, stuff that I don't know much about because I never learned to play the guitar. But it all seems to be spoken in a rather friendly and motivating tone so that my learning experience is pleasant. And then he finishes off with a couple of tips and a little motivational catchphrase at the bottom. And of course, if I wanted to continue this conversation, I'm sure each answer would be in that same tone. For comparison's sake, now let's have a look at what ChatGPT would respond with if we didn't use custom instructions. So let's copy over our prompt, which is I would like to learn to play the guitar. Can you help me out? Move over to the custom instructions tab, turn that off with the little toggle and start a new conversation where we'll paste that prompt again and see what happens. The response is a little bit more dry this time. It starts off with absolutely learning to play the guitar can be a rewarding experience, which is fair enough, but it's not really as friendly as it was with our previous interaction where our teacher was kind of trying to push us into playing the guitar and motivating us with a lot of different phrases that he mentioned. The rest of the conversation is still helpful. I'm not saying it's not because ChatGPT is still a very powerful tool even if we don't use custom instructions, but the interaction doesn't really feel like a conversation with a real human being at this point. And we do get the learning plan, but this time it actually resembles something like a to-do list of things we need to do in order to get to the end result of being a guitar player, I guess. So acquire the guitar, buy a pick, consider getting a guitar strap, etc. Of course, it's relevant. However, it just doesn't have that personal touch to it. And this really applies to the level of technicality that um, ChatGPT goes over with. Because in the discussion where we were talking to a teacher, he would give examples and analogies on how to approach the task of learning guitar. Whereas this time, it's just a little bit dry. So as a summary for this video, what we've spoken about today was a bit of a refresher on priming and role assignment. And then we moved on to how we can use those within ChatGPT's custom instructions. Then we looked at a little example to show the before and the after of using and not using custom instructions. I really hope that this video is gonna help you tailor your conversations with ChatGPT. And if you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing and liking this video so that next time when I upload new content, you'll be notified about it straight away. Thank you and I will see you next time. Enjoy.